Hey guys, Steph Mishuk, KillerPHP.com, KillerVideoStore.com. In this quick little vlog, I want to discuss PHP and application state. So first of all, what is application state? That's the ability to track information uh, across uh, the scope of your application. So, so let's give an example of application state. Let's say you have a members only area and you wanted to track to see if uh, a user, a particular username is logged on more than once at the same time. You know, so you have uh, John Doe logs into your system and you want to see if, and then you want to see if another guy using the same user credentials tries to log in at the, into the system at the same time. Now, if you have application state, then you could just have a variable that's accessible across the entire application. So if somebody tried to access again, logs in again, you can just check that app, you could check your application state to see if that user is already logged in. And then you can, you know, block multiple logins or, or track multiple logins or whatever you want to do. That's what application state allows you to do. You would, it's basically a global variable that you don't confuse that with PHP globals. It's basically a global variable that anybody hitting your application can access. So you could track uh, all kinds of information uh, in real time and, and, and make decisions. Like I said, it, let's say you have a, member, a membership system and you wanted to prevent multiple uh, logins by the same user at the same time. There can be scenarios where you might want to do that. Application state makes that easier. Now there's ways around it. In PHP, um, it, excuse me, there's ways around it if you don't have application state in your uh, particular language that you use. So, brings me to my larger point, PHP unfortunately uh, does not have a, uh, an application state. Uh, and the reason it doesn't is because PHP, uh, uh, the PHP process is fired up every time a request is made for a page and it's then it's completely shut down when the request is complete. There's advantage to that because it helps prevent memory leaks and so on. So, so it's going to open a process, start, close it. So because the process, there's no uh, process uh, that keeps that's kept kept alive across uh, the system. There's no you know easy way to track application state. Now you can get around it by just making database calls, and that's a real pain in the neck. Or you can use uh, with um, object-oriented PHP. You can use object serialization. You can automatically you know basically write text files to the server and start tracking that way. But if you have an application state built into your, in your environment, your language, your server model, then you don't have to do this manually. And that's one of the advantages. Java has app, application state, .NET has, has application state, Ruby apparently, uh, I, don't, I never used it so I couldn't say, but yeah, it does have application state. ColdFusion has application state because it sets on top of Java. So there you go, application state allows you to track information across the entire uh, scope of the app so you can track what multiple people are doing multiple people can share information that's the thing multiple sessions a session is defined by somebody hitting an application and interacting with the application and if you have app state you can easily share information uh, very quickly across uh, all these sessions but because php does not have app state because of the nature of its model, you have to jump through a couple of hoops to do that. You know, it's just something, uh, app state is convenient sometimes. And, uh, you know, I used to use it quite a bit in my Java days, but uh, again, with PHP, there are ways around it. So um, that's it, it's just a nerd V blog. Uh, probably putting some people to sleep with it, but uh, what are you gonna do?